Today we're gonna to look at the LS1 acoustic recorder. So let's open it up, unscrew the lid. And inside we've stored the hydrophone to protect it during transport. So let's attach the hydrophone. So the hydrophone has three pins and a guide pin. You just line those up, push straight down, Tighten the retaining cap. Take a quick look at the LS1. There's four slots to hold micro SD cards. You only need a card in slot one unless you want more memory. And then there's four battery holders to hold D cell batteries. So we've loaded the battery slots with batteries and we're ready to turn the LS1 on. So we'll slide the switch on. So when the LS1 is initializing, it will scan all of the cards for available memory. And when it's ready to set up, you'll see a setup screen and it will indicate the current setting, so the record duration and sleep interval. And it will also indicate what the deployment duration limit is. And in this case, it's 83 days and it's limited by memory. So we could add more cards to actually increase the the record duration. So to set up the recorder we can press the enter button and we can change the record duration. Say we wanted to record for two minutes so we'll change that to 120 seconds. And notice that the memory limit will change as we change that. So now we have a so now we have a 50 day record duration. And let's say we don't want to sleep for 240 seconds, but we only want to sleep for 120. So let's say we want to sleep for 120 seconds. Now our record duration is showing as 33 days. So to start the recorder, we'll just press the up and down buttons at the same time. It will indicate that it is starting and it'll start on the next even minute. To get ready for deployment, I put some tape around the batteries to hold them in. And there are two O-rings that need to be greased. There's an axial O-ring and then there's an O-ring inside the top of the lid. So to seal it up, place it inside. You might want to turn a quarter turn backwards so that it seats. And then, and then you seal it until the top O-ring has fully seated. Okay, don't over tighten it. Do not tighten it with a strap wrench. And then you're ready to go. And then you can always monitor the red LED in the top of the hydrophone to show that it's recording. To mount the recorders underwater, you can use these mounting plates, which have a block where you can pass a line through and then clamp it down. These mounting brackets allow you to either do a line mount where you pass a line through these blocks and tighten them down, or you can use this as a bottom mount where you anchor the plates to the bottom. You may need to use a strap wrench to get the lid off after a deployment. So you place the strap wrench over the lid. It's helpful to be at the edge of a table. You pull the strap tight and then you can turn. Once you get it loose, you'll be able to loosen it by hand.